I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! They almost had me roasting on a spit! <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? Oh, uh, I, I apologise, sir. I'm just glad you're all right. <laughs> I'm yanking your piddle, you dolt. Thank you for rescuing me. That wound doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse has bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go, then. I've had quite enough excitement already. Lord Capon! Get here! Everybody! You! Help him!
How's it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Uh... <laughs> thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I have urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. Well, he's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. Why is here again? I enjoyed it last time. Get your arses mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. Well, look here. Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me, keep quiet, and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Razig sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. All right, men. Saddle up. No dawdling. The last one there won't find me a happy man.
Where's your master? In in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses, screaming, must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them... And then my husband, when my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up in quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck! Someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. I'd just like to know. They really did slaughter them. Why would anyone do that? How could anyone be so cruel? Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scallets a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. I don't know of anyone else. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out. To see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices. 
and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smew. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? Oh. Oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it, you useless prick. There's one man in particular, huge, dressed all in black, voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here, the bastard. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. Can you help me? Help you? And how have you helped me? Could anyone be so cruel? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No. I didn't see a thing. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who.
Are you... Are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... they deserve it. What... what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals, their shrieks, then smell. He shouted, and they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell, not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. <laughs> now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside, and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were... Just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No. Something happened. They quarrelled. So some of them were running away, and the others were fighting? Aye. For a time. Then more of us came out, and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask.